Good morning. Today we're going to be taking a look at Unit 1, Section 9. The outline for today deals with this. We're going to take a few moments at the beginning of class to have others look at what we've done to give you some personal feedback upon that. It can either be students that are in the coding class or it can be a student that's sitting next to you on a machine. Just ask them what it looks like. Would there be anything that you need to change? Then you're going to finish working on your personal collage. Next, you're going to do a self-assessment and reflection on what you've just completed. And then you will submit your work to me online. There's also a journal at the end, and you'll see that in just a few moments. That becomes in the self-reflection and assessment. Your objectives for today is basically to complete a personal collage in touch development, apply the coordinate systems to your personal collage, and also we will look at the process of giving feedback for the virtual gallery. Now this will come in section 10 also, but we just have a quick overview of the process. Today you're going to be working and finishing your personal collage project. You need to refer back to the rubric in Unit 1 Section 8, Activity, to refresh for the requirements, and we will take a quick look at that. Remember, you can always ask your fellow students for help. So let's take a quick look at what those things were, okay? Okay, so I have Unit 1 8 up, uh, the activity. Uh, just remember that you need to make sure that you started your script with a blank game. Remember to give it a name delete the existing code, you must build your collage, collage that reflects your personality. Okay, Your collage must have a minimum of three sprites and two text sprites. So you have three pictures, two text. And of course the program must position the sprites so that they're visible and readable and your script must run without errors. Of course we already went through all this yesterday and the day before. Uh, and then there's a table near the end and some questions. <clears throat> so this is basically your self-assessment. What you will assess based on what you've done. And you need to complete that by today. Then you need to do the reflection problems also. Now the reflection problems need to be completed and put in your notes. This part will need to be emailed to me. So, any questions over this need to be addressed through the message uh, board on our wiki site or WIC site. Uh, I just mentioned the uh, journals. Fill out the rubric. Reflection questions need to go in your journal in OneNote. Okay, that was the last two questions. And then finally, let's talk quickly about the gallery walk. You need to submit it to me by email, just like we've done the other games in the past. Therefore, I can build a site so that others can go and view your work. Uh, we'll probably use the same exact rubric that you did your assessment on, and you will probably do the assessment on each other's piece of work. And then you'll have to submit that. I may build it so that it is a quick assessment that goes through uh, kind of like the survey type things, the Excel survey. And therefore, we can quickly push out comments and stuff back to you and you can reflect on those. If you don't have any questions, or if you do have questions, you need to go to our site, which of course is on the Jackson web page. And when you're at the Jackson web page, you just need to hit question. Make sure you put your name, your email, and the question or message that you need to send to me. Just remember that this course is a virtual class. We need to consistently use technology to talk and discuss things. From time to time, I will stop into that class to see how you're doing. Uh, at the most part right now, it seems like everyone is doing a pretty good job. Again, the discussion board takes you to OneNote. Questions are how you would send them to me. And there's some other resources here. But have a good day. Complete the project. Make sure you email it to me. Do your reflections. Put those in OneNote.
We'll talk later.